Tom's Worm Hat. This is a video about habitual liars, compulsive liars, pathological liars, whatever you want to say. People that will lie about everything and anything. And what I always say is a habitual liar or a compulsive liar, they'll lie to you about what they ate for lunch. And it doesn't have to serve any purpose. Why would you have to lie about... If it has no... It could have no bearing on anything. Oh, hey, I, I just got back from Chick-fil-A. And then you go in their car and you see that there's McDonald's wrappers, not Chick-fil-A. Something like that. That Why would somebody do that? And I think it's just a sickness. It's a symptom of an, a larger problem that is you're surrounded by a bunch of liars. And some of them get screwed up and they can't fake it in public. They can't keep their, their important lies lies and then realize that they're not supposed to lie about everything. They're broken inverts. It's the same thing. I equate it in my mind to OCD type conditions. People that are obsessed with counting things in threes. People that are obsessed with cleaning their house, like sweeping the floor ten times a day. It's because they've lived their whole life looking for little details. The devil's in the details. They've been looking for 33s. That's why they can't stop counting things in threes. And yeah, I have people like this in my family. A lot of inverts are OCD about cleaning stuff. I think it's because they live their life looking for little details and always so stressed about, oh my gosh, do I do I look like a tranny? Looking at every little part of themselves screws up at their brain. Same thing with liars. Why are there people out there that will lie to you about what they ate for lunch for no reason other than to just lie to you? It's because it's a sickness brought on by the fact that these inverts, they live double lives and they're always lying to people. Some of them just become totally dysfunctional and they can't stop lying about everything. It just becomes a reflex. Let's just get into it because I have a lot that I could say about this. This, this top commenter right here, they come up later, so just remember this. My mom found out my dad was a compulsive liar when his twin sister didn't show up to their wedding. When questioned about it, he said she might have imagined the dozens of stories he had told about his twin sister. He's an only child. So, gaslighting. Uh, you must just be imagining those stories that I told you about my twin sister. You catch them in a lie, trying to gaslight. And have you noticed how much that stuff has come up? People know about gaslighting now. People know about gatekeeping now. Ten years ago, people didn't talk about this stuff. Something about their magic spells broken, and now all this stuff comes to light. This is, this is stuff that people should know about, because it's their MOs. It's, you're surrounded by people that do this stuff. This is way more important information than anything that they teach you in school. We come out into this world just being accepting of people, wanting to think the best of people, but it's totally the opposite. You should just assume that people are liars, basically, and praise Jesus Christ opening my eyes. Now I can see the inverts for what they are, and they're just liars, and liars lie. They're of their father. I'm not saying every, every invert is satanic, but just so many of them are. It is what it is, and one of the big things about Satan is Satan is a liar. He's the father of all lies, so expect the tares to lie. It's just a reality versus you can't force reality to be what you think it should be or what you hoped that it will be. You just have to face reality. And this habitual liar problem, it's a reality that people don't want to face. You're surrounded by a bunch of people that will lie to you about anything and everything because they that's just who they are. And yeah, let's just keep going. Here's another person, different person. My sister married a guy like that. In the first six months after the wedding, we found out that he had lied about his previous job, his house back in his country, the fact that it was damaged by a hurricane. He didn't even own a house. People love, inverts love to get sympathy out of these fake stories. Of course, they love it. His previous marriage, unfaithful ex-wife, and him having kids. Huge stuff. They'll lie about huge things. How, and this is marrying a person, lying about this stuff. His mom being dead. People lie about their family members being dead. And then you call them on it. And then they'll say something like, oh, well, we just, they're dead to me. That's called trickle truth in. When you catch these liars out on their lies. And what they do is, oh, okay, you caught me out on the lie. And I'm going to kind of start trickling stuff to you. 
oh, they'll see, they'll say something like that. Oh, well, we, we never talk anymore because they're just horrible people to me. And, but if you keep searching and you eventually find out and you talk to their family, a lot of times it's that person who is the issue. They'll say, I don't, we've been nothing but supporting and open and friendly. They don't talk to us anymore. So anyways, uh, I'm 99% sure my friend is currently in a relationship similar to this. Her boyfriend has a million. I am very badass stories. Yeah. Braggers, one uppers. You grew up around these people. It's the people who, if you hurt yourself, they don't say, Oh, are you feeling okay? when are you going to get better? They say, oh, well, I did this. And why does that happen so frequently? You're surrounded by these people. Learn how to identify them. Ye shall know them by their fruits. We are supposed to judge people by their actions and put them into categories. There's a reason that we, that we do that. I mean, people try to try to bash stereotypes all the time, but stereotypes exist for a reason because they work. If it looks like a duck, wags its tail like a duck, right? Quacks like a duck. There's reasons that we say these things. It's just that society programs you to look for the best in people. Never, never question what people tell you. You're just supposed to, you're supposed to accept what people tell you. If you doubt something that somebody tells you, they'll turn it around. How dare you? How dare you not believe what I'm telling you? I had a friend like this, not drugs, mind you, but compulsive lines. Some of the things he would make up were bizarre, too. Yeah. He once told me he lived in a big five-bedroom house, had a fully stocked bar, pool table, etc., then invited me to his house to drink at his bar. But when we got at his house, he lived in a tiny terraced house with two bedrooms. He didn't even have any alcohol in the house. <laughs> yeah, you live in tranny land with a bunch of liars, and even if they get caught in the lie, they pretend they just ignore it. Love is blind, as they say. What surprised me about my sister's husband, he didn't act as a con man. He didn't want to take our money or cars or other material stuff. He wasn't seeking attention, was actually pretty quiet and often lost in his thoughts. He led a pretty normal average life. That's what you think. They have these double lives. They likely know that they're an invert. And anyways, uh, he led a pretty normal life, worked as a tutor and liked outdoor activities. He didn't take any advantage of the situation, but apparently whenever we asked anything about his past, he would come up with these elaborate lies and then switch topics. It was like he was escaping from his own life in his fantasies and dragged us with him. And that's just a big, big concept. Could talk about that. People remembering their lives how they want to, not how it actually happened. And they throw out the lies and expect others to, to buy into it. Unfortunately, I think this happens far too often. Yeah, we should talk about it. I think this is stuff that's helpful for people. Learning how to identify problematic people and seeing that it's a, a really large symptom of an overarching theme of you're surrounded by liars and some of them are so sick in the head that they have a lying issue, that everything out of their mouth is a lie, even if it doesn't make sense. It's a sickness of a larger problem of you literally are surrounded by liars. Some of them are just worse than others. Uh, did a lot of online dating, blah, 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 blah. Oh, in two years, she dated two government top secret spies. Oh my gosh. Just probably fat free Martins. They're so gross. What are the chances? They always needed from things from her and were completely unreliable. Oh, it's all top secret guys. Yeah. I knew the a tiny little free Martin military person and they were married to this behemoth mtf and everybody likes to talk oh it's top secret top secret they gotta they want to make you think that it's so interesting no they're just a bunch of actors like look at the ridiculous costumes that they have to put on no serious military person think of like a really strong aggressive macho i'm gonna beat you up with my bare hands person are you gonna be wearing a frilly uniform with a bunch of no it's an act. They they literally it's theater. They're wearing costumes. If you can't anyways, my motto is if you can't see it, don't believe it until you do. I'm sure when I was younger I bought some some of the lies. I guess here I'll just talk about a personal story cuz I know more than one 
habitual liar. So when I was dating the strat, there you go, a liar, not necessarily a habitual liar going to lie to me about what they ate for lunch because some of the inverts, they have their lies, their important lies under lockdown and it doesn't leak into everything. But you're surrounded by lies, is all I'm saying. Anyways, the sister of the Strat had a free Martin boyfriend. And I'll just give one example. This person was just a known liar. Lie about crazy stuff. They come up with so many lies that you stop being able to even have them. It becomes exhausting even holding on to the lies. But it's if you just keep on one of the lies and keep it going they still just somehow drag it out and keep finding excuses. So here's the example. The Free Martin boyfriend was talking up, talking up about how great of a present he's going to get uh, get the girlfriend, how he's going to get her professional bowling shoes fitted perfect for her. Kept talking about it, kept talking about it. The birthday comes and goes, keeps talking about it. Oh, they're, I don't know, making up weird excuses. Can't, I ordered them already, but they just haven't got here yet. Like months go by and me and my strat ex girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. It's so disturbing to think back to, but it's reality would ask them about it. So where are those bowling shoes? So when are you getting those bowling shoes and I don't know, it like a year goes by and it's still just, it just gets dropped. People just eventually just drop it. And it's similar to the news too. The news can just do totally wrong stories and they can just kind of ignore it. And then it just eventually gets dropped and moves on. By the time you've moved a year, there's 200 new lies to replace the bowling shoe lie. So how do you even keep, you can't even keep up with it. We were never married, but my ex did this too. Why are there so many people? And... That's just it. That's just what I want to show. It's not rare. This is just very common. You're surrounded by liars. And the Bible says so. We were never married, but my ex did this too. Our whole relationship, he had me and my family convinced he had an older brother lying about extreme things. This is like from the movies, right? Where do you think these inverts get the ideas for this? They get it from the movies. They get it from TV. My ex did this, but claimed he'd had a daughter who died as an infant. What a screwed up thing to lie about. Same, my ex-boyfriend convinced me he had a dead girlfriend and always tried to gain sympathy for that. Honestly, what an unmanly thing, too. All these stories of, of Free Martins coming up with these sobs. No, men keep stuff to themselves. They don't want to put their burdens on other people. If you've ever met a whiny, really needy man, quote-unquote man, do you know all the alleged men out there that they're like babies and they need they need their wife to take care of everything for them that's not a man that's an arrested development free martin same thing with lying it's just very childish that's what children do children lie you're supposed to grow up what uh, in the actual i can't figure out why people do this and they always get defensive when you call them out how dare you <laughs> you gotta not care about what other people think you know, what bad people think. The sad thing with compulsive liars, they really can't help it. I think that there's some truth to that. I think it's like an OCD person can't help but see the little grain of sand all the way across the room. A compulsive liar can't help but lie about what they ate for lunch because they're just a liar. It's what they are. It's their life. I remember there was a dude who would say such outlandish lies with such seriousness you just had to ride along. One time he said he was part of the triad, blah, 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 konnichiwa. You can, you can pause and read these things if you want. Gone Jellyfishing, 77. That was my ex, ex Rex. He really couldn't help it. The word vomit just kept flowing out of his mouth. I love this. This is so tranny land. These stories are dime a dozen. One day he came home and said he had almost won the lottery today. My friends were over and started questioning him. They were on to his lies. Because they're, the friends are probably liars too liar trannies sometimes the trannies they they get off on calling out the lower ones out on their bullshit because they're a professional bullshitter themselves they were onto his lies eventually the truth came out that basically he was at the convenience store and the person in front of him cashed in a one dollar scratch off ticket that's how he almost won the lottery 
Oh, that story is just perfect. I know it's true because it's perfect. I worked with a compulsive liar for a few years when I was out of college. Up until that point, I never met one and to this day, I haven't met another one like her. She just lied all the time for the littlest things, almost all the time. It really didn't affect her job. She did her job fine. Whatever. We worked with a guy who was a compulsive liar. He did it to make himself seem better than other people. Yeah, that's just a big thing. Compulsive liars don't lie because it makes sense. They lie because it's compulsive. I would just agree. Yeah, if you're going to... There's a lot of liars out there. They're not all compulsive. I think it's just the it's the OCD of lying. They literally can't help their tranny land sickness. Sounds like a Costanza thing. And then they just go through... It's in Seinfeld. Yeah, this is all the time in the TV and the movies. People make up these outlandish lies to to advance their own situation, even romantically, and they just say, well, I'll just have to stick with the lie until I die. They don't think it through, it's not planned, they just find themselves in an opportunity to lie, and they do. It's a huge thing, but people don't, people don't talk about it like it's an everyday thing. And it's the same thing with with all that stuff, gaslighting, gatekeeping, shills, they're all around you. It's not just, it's, I don't know, people, people put that stuff, have their levels all screwed up. People think that things like that, <clears throat> oh, advertising doesn't affect me, oh, shills, that's not, that doesn't affect me, gatekeeping, gaslighting, people think that that stuff is detached from them. Oh, compulsive liars that are just everything out of their mouth to me is lying. People think that that stuff is really far away from them, but then they think something like the president of the United States matters so much. Oh, I, I have to vote and get so emotionally invested in this thing that has no bearing on my reality. Just a, just a figurehead, right? It can't actually affect you. But then all these other things, they just, nobody realizes that it's a very important and daily part of our lives. You're surrounded by these liars and yeah I, I guess I'm just trying to say people should be more open talking about this stuff and talking about how common it is it's not rare at all these people end up marrying people if the whole world knew that what you see on the tv about people being insane making up huge lies just to get in bed with somebody if people knew that that was a real thing and openly talked about it maybe they would when they get the first or second red flag, they'd stop it there and they'd look into it for themselves. Hey, I've heard about these compulsive liars that make up things about family members that they don't even have, etc., etc. I know a compulsive liar. It's literally compulsion. They lie about everything. doesn't matter how stupid or small. They literally cannot tell the truth. I can back this guy into a corner and he will still lie until he has nowhere to turn. Sometimes he'll just walk away once fully cornered into having to tell the truth. This is like my, my Rex bro. I caught Shim red-handed and still denied it. They're crazy. My ex-best mate was like this. He used to tell me about this older brother who had the nicest cars and Harleys and was on all those people that you know that act like this you shall know them by their fruits compulsive liars everything they say is bs just don't believe them all those people oh my uncle has a blah 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 man i dated someone who said he had a twin brother this is just incredible to me how many people are lying about family members that don't even exist this is see this is a weird story about the brother dressed up as the twin to try to Imagine that. That is so out of a movie. Somebody got the idea for this out of out of Hollywood. I'm going to pretend I have a twin and I'm going to take it so far that I'm going to dress up differently and act differently and meet meet my girlfriend. So bizarre. So this was the person from the very beginning. Remember the person from the very beginning how on the wedding day they found out that they were lying about a twin sister or whatever? They've been married for 42 years. Still going strong. He only seems to lie about the stupid shit. That's what you think. I mean, that's what you think. They probably live a whole double life. Why would somebody who lies about everything, why do you think that it's all harmless? 
Oh no, they're not a narcissist. Somebody asks, is your dad a narcissist? I think by the time you're a compulsive liar, of course you're a narcissist. You only care about yourself. My dad told my mom he had a twin sister too. I think that this is like a tranny thing. It's part of their telling them that they're kind of a girl. It's, I mean, who is their twin sister? It's like their feminine side. Who is this twin sister that doesn't actually exist? It's like their female half. Are they still married? Yep, still married. My ex-boyfriend lied for two years about him growing up in the hood of Miami and seeing his cousin get shot dead at his feet because of gang violence. This is really, really helpful for all those people who are still stuck on people dying in 9-11, people dying in school shootings. It's because they've heard habitual compulsive liars say, oh, well, my cousin's sister's dog got shot in 9-11. Okay, that doesn't happen. People don't die in their psyops and people who say that they know somebody, they're just lying. They're liars. They'll marry you. Yep. Oh, here, this was good. I think we'll just end on this. A friend of the family's wife made up having an estranged sister. He had been instructed never to bring her up with the family because it was too painful. How often do you hear that? When people say they, people come out with something, which is fantastical in nature, usually. And then they say, but you can never bring this up ever. Or they, they make these lies very emotional. I think I skipped through some of the stories that had this in it. Cause here's just another person I know. Um, there were some stories, I don't know if I showed them, where people lie about fake family members that died, and they have these emotional displays once a year. I had a roommate, a Free Martin roommate. Once a year, they would get really emotional and dark and quiet, and they would want to go to the bar and have two shots and leave one of the shots there and the whole time that they drank. And it was commemorating one of their people from Iraq. And it's just probably a whole big BS story. They probably didn't have a friend. The just what I know about this person, they probably didn't really have many friends in the in the military. But they just come up with these stories to get sympathy. Hey, I'm a military person. Part of my persona is, and they play a part. They don't want to say all I did was shovel dirt, and I didn't have many friends, and it sucked. It was hot. So they have to make some story about it, and that's it. Anyways, the only one, um, oh, that was 15 years ago, and the one good part of it, oh. <laughs> so here, what this is about, Diane turned out to be a fake person. I just thought this was funny because they had good humor about it. That was at least 15 years ago, and the one good part of it is that eventually started our tradition of buying a gift for yourself at Christmas and putting it under the tree from your sister Diane. I just thought it was funny that they adopted a tradition where everybody is mocking this liar who had some fake person, Diane, in their life. Yeah, I mean, that, that's mostly it. That's all I have to say about compulsive liars. They're a dime a dozen. You're surrounded by them. It's a symptom of a larger issue. It's the people that can't get it under control. And it's it's not rare. It just isn't rare. God bless everybody. Jesus Christ is the truth, and ye shall know them by their fruits. Really quick before I go, I have to talk about this subtopic. I, I didn't get to this slide, and it's just so big. And I have people in my family that do this. They have these outrageous medical stories that are just obviously not true. And faking cancer is huge. I've talked about it before, how one of my old teachers, I'm almost certain that they hoaxed this so emotional cancer struggle and then death it they were just retiring they were just a teacher retiring they turn it into this big emotional thing that grips the community they get a bunch of donation money and that's the way that masons operate everyone wants a piece of the pie though there's a lot of people out there that know this stuff is bs they know that they do these things so they do it too and sometimes they get called out on it I mean, that's something I talked about that 
sometimes the liars like to call out the other liars. And anyways, here here's just an example about health stuff. Not the same story, but near enough. I once semi-dated a girl who convinced me, the whole school, her friends, and her roommates that she had a stage 2 bone cancer. She shaved her head, she missed a bunch of classes, her roommate shaved his amazing long dreadlocks in solidarity, took care of her groceries and carried for her whenever she was saying her bones were hurting. But, I mean, do you see how everybody turns around and helps these people? And that's why they love it. They love all the attention. They love people. I mean, you might think, why? how could someone do this? But, I mean, look at what they get. They get all the attention on them. The spotlight's on them. That's what these inverts crave. They they are the ones that they go move to Hollywood and they try to make it big. Uh, normal human beings think that stuff sounds crazy. Why would I do that with my life? No, these people thrive on that stuff, being the center of attention. They're actors. They need a stage. Until I started noticing that her health was actually just fine. Her hair growing back, she had dark hair, it was easy to see, and she still had eyebrows. Uh, she would tell people she just had a big surgery to her spine, yet she was walking back home from the hospital. So not even a good actor. I've also told a story about a strat from my high school who hoaxed a big car accident and a recovery. Oh, you're not going to walk again. Oh, look, you start walking again. And I could tell that they were faking it just the way that they walked. It didn't look right. It didn't look like somebody who actually was injured. It looked like somebody acting. Yeah, you're surrounded by actors, liars. And I just wanted to make sure to get this one in here at the end. Health stuff is big, big hoax. A lot of childhood cancer. I think it's just a hoax. It's just they lost their hair from hormone treatments. Think of all the people out there with PCOS and thyroid issues. They're covering the fact that they're intersex. That's what hormone problems. How many people out there say they have hormone problems? They're telling you that they are intersex. God bless everybody.